2025 Vulcan Jetta First Drive Review Get the GLI The standard Jetta is still value, but it's where it's at. The 2020 Volkswagen Jetta is a sign that sedans aren't dead, at least not for Vulcan. While others are axing the low-slung four doors from their lineups, the Jetta remains VW's third best seller in the United States behind the Tiguan and Atlas. For 2025, the Jetta gets some light updates to spruce it up for its loyal customers. And we got to drive it, along with the sporty G, to refresh our memories. Outside, the Jetta gets a little bit of a nip and tuck up and in the rear. The upper and lower grills have been updated. It gets new LED headlights with an available light bar across the nose. In back, there's a slight tweak to the trunk lid along with a standard light bar stretching across it. The Jetta SE gets new 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, while the SEL and GLI get 18-inchers. The SE and GLI are also offered with black wheel packages. Finally, two new exterior colors join the palette, Monterey Blue Pearl and Monument Gray. Inside, has been revised with a new design comprising three horizontal bars flanking the standard 8-inch infotainment touchscreen and gauge cluster, and helping to camouflage the vents. No matter which trim you choose, you get the Climatronic touch controls for the HVAC. Which we've started to get used to, we've found that tapping either the red or blue end is considerably easier than trying to precisely slide your finger to adjust the temperature. Especially if you're trying to keep your eyes on the road. We usually prefer the functionality of something more tactile, like the older HVAC knobs the Jetta used to use. But the sliders definitely give the cabin a more upscale appearance. The 8-inch infotainment is still a little dated. But wireless Apple CarPlay made life easy on us when trying to listen to our own tunes while navigating with Waze. And, thankfully, the Jetta employs volume and tuning knobs. As well as infotainment to the sides of the actual screen, which make menu navigation easier. We appreciated the digital cockpit that comes standard in the Jetta. Measuring 8 inches in the S, Sport and SE, or 10.25 inches in the SEL and GLI. The Jetta's same engines remain for 2025. For the standard Jetta, Turbocharged 1.5 liter inline, making 158 horsepower and 84 pound feet of torque. The only transmission pairing for that power plant is an 8 speed. Volkswagen said the take rate for the manual in non GLI trims was around 5%. LI, on the other, the 2.0 liter. 4 making 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet, and it made it to either a set a DSG, 6-speed manual transmission. That's big news since you can no longer get the GTI with a manual, meaning if you want to hashtag save the manuals, you'll have to get a GLI. You shouldn't be alone, at least. VW expects the manual to make up about 30% of GLI sales in the United States, which isn't bad. Our first stint around some of our favorite roads in Southeast Michigan took place in an SEL. Driven the Jetta any time recently, it'll feel familiar, with ample low-end power that tapers off as higher speeds and higher revs. 
Steering is light and effortless. Responsive enough to feel entertaining as you transition from one corner to the next on a narrow, winding road. The chassis feels well controlled. Even with the Jetta's standard torsion beam rear suspension, there's very little roll, and it feels smooth and relaxed tracing over awkward undulations in the pavement. It's even more composed and comfortable on better engineered surfaces. As far as the ride and handling are concerned, the Jetta comes off as more premium than its segment suggests. We got to spend even more time in a red GLI equipped with the manual transmission, and it was delightful. The clutch pedal is light and effortless. The shifter itself doesn't provide much tactile information as to what gear you're putting it in, but the shifter does a fine job of guiding the stick home with each gear, nonetheless. Once used to the airy numbness from both the left foot and right hand, confidence develops and shifts become quick and seamless. It also allows you to make the most of the extra power going to the front wheels. It's not difficult to elicit wheel spin through the entire first gear, and coax a significant yelp from the tires shifting into second. Once that's got your pulse prime, whatever comes next is just icing. Whether it's a continued ringing of revs through the gears or setting up for that upcoming corner. Better yet, take the GLI back down to a complete stop and do it all over again. It's a rare treat to get this experience in a sub minus $35,000 sedan. It tastes like 2010 in all the best ways. The GLI does feel a bit more connected to the road than lesser Jettas thanks to its multi-link rear suspension. But it won't punish those inside with an uncomfortable ride. It felt just as natural grabbing groceries as it did squealing around those lonely back roads. And when you're not living life up against the car's red line, that manual transmission is an absolute gem when you're trying to summon limo levels of smoothness. With just a little bit of intention, you can pull off gear swap after gear swap without the slightest sensation of a momentum change making its way into the cabin. Try that in a WRX. It ain't easy. If you're looking to get into the 2025 Jetta GLI, there's just the one trim, and it starts at $33,940, including $1,225 in destination. And the price is the same whether you opt for the 6-speed manual or 7-speed DSG. If you have no need for the extra power and the fun that comes with it. The Jetta starts at $23,220 for the base S trim and it's now standard 8-speed auto and goes on up to $30,225 for the SEL. Whether you're looking for the affordable, refined drive of the standard Jetta or the rare, still affordable joy the GLI offers, they hit dealers at the end of Q3. We know which one we'd pick. Thank you.